Good Thursday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onick with a quick weather update early on Thursday morning, just past the top of the 8 o'clock hour. And a lot nicer out there, less in the way of fog, still some haze around the metro area. And, of course, going to be looking at the possibility of a lot less where it comes to rainfall as we go into the course of the rest of the day today and, for that matter, for the next several days. So if you have any plans for getting out and casting your ballot, uh, again, for Election Day across some parts of the Mid-South, and again, throughout the rest of the area, plenty of problems again into the weekend on the late side of things as we look for more showers and thunderstorms to possibly head our direction. We'll talk more about that in the extended forecast in just a little bit. We'll also take a look at the forecast for the rest of Election Day coming on through here in just a little while. If you've never been here before, welcome to the show. This is our online video weather blog giving you an opportunity to ask questions about the forecast. If we can answer them again about the Mid-South area, that's North Mississippi, West Tennessee, and Eastern Arkansas with Memphis, Tennessee right there in the middle. Be glad to answer what we can on stuff like that. If this is too much information and you just want to check out the forecast, that's cool. It's in the red bar at the bottom of your screen or again head to our website wreg.com slash weather. If you got any web pictures out there, weather or anything happening with your friends, family, loved ones out in the weather, Please tweet them to me. Please send them to uh, by email. Drop them onto my personal Facebook page, and we'll use them on our netcast here. We didn't get too many of them overnight, so we'll be featuring them a little bit later on this morning on the second late edition of Weather Overtime. That'll be at about 1045 this morning. More about that coming up here again in just a little bit. Rest of the area today, again, plenty of sunshine, so no major problems being seen in the way of problems with rainfall for outdoor activities into and around the Mid-South. Aaron Ward, any chance of a nice breeze this week? Maybe a little bit, but not by much. Unfortunately, not really helping much on that for right now. Again, let's see, let's see some weather reports out there. Give us some temperature, sky conditions, wind reports. Let's do some amateur meteorology and show everybody what's going on in and around this particular area. Rest of the day today, again, we can't get some pretty foul conditions out here where it comes to weather in the Mid-South area at this time of the year. We can get some pretty nasty heat waves. We can get severe weather. We're not getting any of that for today, so looking excellent for the rest of Election Day out across the area. Very much on the warmer side, no question about that. Temperatures pushing 90 into later on this afternoon, but those northeasterly winds are going to do a very good job of dropping the numbers by just a little bit, so that should help to get anything in the way of major problems out there out of the way. Showers and thunderstorms, those are gone from the forecast for right now, so I'm not seeing a problem there. So don't let the weather be an excuse. Get out and cast your valid polls that are open right now. I'll be heading to my polling place later on today again with my wife to get everything taken care of there for again casting our votes so please make certain you do the same out there and go out and cast your votes for today not seeing again anything really good news here we still have quite a ways to go before the summer changes over to the next season that's about 51 days and change away on our countdown clock autumn equinox starts at september 22nd that doesn't guarantee cooler weather but it does give us again a little bit of hope in the sense that we will be getting out of the summer season pretty soon. We still haven't hit 100 degrees in and around the Memphis metro area just yet, believe it or not. A little bit on the hazy side, mostly fog, but a lot of smoke from the Ferguson fire around Yosemite. Hard to see anything off in the distance, including Half Dome out there and El Capitan around the corner. We'll bring you more information about what's going on with the fire season here in the Mid-South, which so far is not really doing all that bad at this point in time. Kenneth Sims fog around Gibson County this morning. Thanks for that report there. Overcast from Parkton, North Carolina. Lisa Cummings, thank you very much uh, for that weather report. Welcome to everybody else who's tuning in uh, for this morning. Glad to have you along for the ride. And as of right now, sunshine, beautiful morning in Oxford right before the school year gets going. 70 degrees on the Ole Miss campus in Oxford. Winds out of the southwest at about 3 miles per hour. Memphis International Airport not seeing any major concerns. A little hazy. Again, pollutants in a large metropolitan area tend to settle down toward the surface during days like this, so we see some of that sticking around. That's mainly what you're seeing here. Light fog, but otherwise skies above are sunny. Delays of 15 minutes or less, so we're not picking up too much of a problem there. Likewise, across the continental U.S., traveling today, a few showers around Atlanta, but otherwise nothing major going on. Rhodes College in Memphis, looking back to the northwest, sunlit buildings, mainly clear skies in central Memphis, and traffic on I-40, I-55, 
live view from West Memphis, Arkansas. Everything moving along quite nicely here. Temperature of 71, southwest winds at about 7 miles per hour. Storm Tracker 3S radar, no precipitation showing up at all and not expecting anything throughout the course of the rest of the next several days, in fact. So no problems being seen at this point across much of the area when it comes to rainfall. So I think we can safely forget the umbrella. Showers and thunderstorms from the Florida Panhandle all the way back up into the New England area for today. But beyond that, there's really just not that much happening at this point in time. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in. Again, if you're just joining us, Give us your temperature reports, your wind speed and direction, and what have you got in the way of sky cover out there. Let us know. Drop that into the comment section. Let us know a little bit more about where you're at. 60s and 70s in the Mid-South on live real-time WeatherNet 3. Should mention that you can get this information on your computer system. Again, it's very easy to do so. All you have to do is go to this website address and click on the weather bug icon to get more information about what's going on at the WeatherNet site closest to your location in the Mid-South or beyond, so please stop by there. Now, the computer, very over-eager to give us some rainfall, so chances of rain around northeast Mississippi, I don't see anything happening here, and any rain chances should be back over toward Atlanta, Chattanooga, back toward Knoxville, not getting a lot of anything here, and yes, we have some more speckles showing up in the Mid-South. I don't see anything in the way of showers or thunderstorms for today. So unless you want to take the umbrella along, again, it's like a portable sunshade, which may not be the worst idea. It looks pretty quiet out there. And these northeasterly breezes are going to be doing a very good job of keeping the temperatures down by just a little bit. It's not going to be quite as hot as it could be at this time of the year, although some parts of the Mid-South might hit 90 degrees or over with enough sunshine and it looks like we may be heading that direction throughout the rest of the day today. Into tomorrow morning, temperatures again cooling off briefly into the lower to mid 60s north of I-40, but by late tomorrow morning, easily back in the mid to upper 80s and heading toward the lower to mid 90s as we get into around early portions of Friday. Now high temperatures today, election day, no problem at all, a little toasty, but otherwise looking good for getting outdoors into the course of the rest of the day today and into the rest of the week as from what it looks like for right now. Uh, Gwenda Mofield, let's see, love watching you every morning. Thank you very much uh, for stopping on through. Appreciate everybody for the very nice uh, comments out there. Avery Nellum, 69 degrees at Ripley. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Thanks for uh, tuning on in for this morning and everybody else who's checking in uh, across the area on the comments section for right now. Temperatures again over the next few days into the weekend are going to be on the rise. This is closer to normal for this time of the year with lower to mid 90s. Clouds will be on the increase late Saturday evening and better chances of showers and thunderstorms. It looks like Sunday afternoon and evening will be the best time for anything involving activity there. We'll continue the chances of showers and thunderstorms right up until midweek of the first full week of August. And that's where we'll, we'll see the possibility of maybe about a 50% coverage chance coming on through here. Now, because of that, we may drop the temperatures a little bit into the lower 90s, but I really hesitate to call that cooler. So less hot, I think, will be a good way of putting it. We could see some heat advisory territory temperatures in here of around 105 degrees with the heat index scale out there. Yes, that is a real thing for those of you out there who like to argue that we make that type of stuff up just to get ratings. No, it's a real thing. Check it out. You can read the formula with the National Weather Service who calculates it. It is a real thing. Stop saying it's not. Rest of the day and into tomorrow, again, that's where we're going to be getting the less hot conditions out there and temperatures into the weekend very much on the warmer side. Lots of humidity out there as well as we head into the next several days. Tropics are still pretty quiet. There goes the rain and the thunderstorms back over the East Coast states and down toward the Gulf Coast. The colors you see on screen here, cooler up here, that's the sea surface temperatures and storms in the ocean really could benefit from warmer water. Once storms move over the colder waters as you get up into around portions of the northern Atlantic, we have again little if anything taking place in the way of warmer water way up here. Meanwhile, down into the area of the tropics around the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean, the sea surface temperatures are quite warm. 
and if my cursor would stop moving around that much. These areas right here are the warmest the numbers can possibly get. Again, in the upper 80s to lower 90s for water temperatures. That's bathtub type water. That's great water for storms to develop, but there's nothing out there developing just yet. This is the time of the year where we can get some pretty powerful storms. Remember Andrew in August of 1992, and you had Camille, which was also an August storm. So this is the time of year where we can get some very powerful storms, but nothing like that showing up at this time, so good news there. Atlantic is quiet. National Hurricane Center not showing anything in the way of development. There is, again, that minor disturbance right off the coast of Africa, but it's not expected to develop into anything. If anything changes on this, we'll let you know, so keep it tuned to the weather experts for more on that. All burn bans have been removed from Mid-South counties. We're not seeing anything out there in the way of delays from anything involving fire or any problems in the way of major wildfire dangers in the Mid-South area. Vegetation has enough moisture, so it is not that dry. There are still four counties in southwest Arkansas that do have, again, burn bans in place. So if you're heading any place this summer for a late vacation, camping with the kids, whatever you're doing out there, please make certain you call ahead and check to see if you can have a campfire out there. Because if you can't and you leave it unattended for a second, a major fire can get going. But the good news at this time, Outside of that, there's nothing else in Arkansas posted. Likewise, in Mississippi, no burn bans from the forestry division there. Tennessee, again, does not issue burn bans on a state-by-state, -state, county by county basis. It does do so under extreme drought or high wildfire danger when it becomes necessary, but nothing like that is being posted at this time, so good news on that. Now, you may have heard the myth from several quarters from a long time ago, most notably posted again, <clears throat> excuse me, and again and again from various farmers' almanacs that show that the number of fogs in August equal the numbers of snows that you have during the winter. Now, we went back and did some checking here in the Mid-South, all this data from the National Weather Service in Memphis, and as you can see, the numbers really just don't add up that much to where you see 11 fogs in 2014 and then through the winter season in 2015. 15, 26, 2014, 2015, we only got six measurable snow reports. So again, not much going on there. We're going to update the rest of this information. We'll have it for you coming up today on our later weather blog. That'll be around 1045 this morning. So stay tuned for more information on that and why it's not exactly true that that happens. It's again, one of those things that catches on for no real good reason, unfortunately, but we'll explain more about that later on today. Got weather pictures? Please tweet them to me. Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter. We'd love to have you along for the ride on that. And again, coming up at about a quarter till 11 today, join me on my Facebook page, Periscope, and Twitter pages for our second weather blog, including a look at weather where the troops are. And again, that's coming up in about the next three hours or so. And if you want to catch the forecast on your way to work or heading out the door pretty soon, dial up AM730 in Memphis. That's Talk Back Live with Bob and Josh. Sports chat Monday through Friday, 8 to 10 a.m. Outside the area or can't pick up the signal, talkbacklivenetwork.org for more information on that. That'll wrap it up for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks to everybody else for checking in on the comments section. And thank you very much to everybody for the weather reports out there. Uh, Candy Remy Gibbs, I hope I'm saying that right. Two-point typeface and bifocals don't work well together. When does it start to cool down? Unfortunately, at this time of the year, we can easily get 90s, even upper 90s, into parts of October. That's not typical every year, but it is possible. I have seen that. We've gotten up to 100 in late September and in the upper 90s in early October in some locations that I've been here for in the last 20 years or so. So that is very possible, but hopefully things start really taking a bit of a dive as we go into October. We have still have several more months of heat and humidity out across much of the Mid-South. We'll have more coming up this morning on News Channel 3 Live at 9, so stay tuned for that. I'll be on with News Channel 3 at noon. Tim Simpson and Jim Jaggers have more on your forecast coming up tonight, starting at 1st at 4, going through all of News Channel 3 at 10. And don't forget, please get out and vote today. Don't let the weather be an excuse. You really have no excuse for not voting other than yourself. And again, not voting just because you don't want to, that's a pretty pathetic excuse, you really got to admit. So again, please get out and cast your ballot. Tune in new to News Channel 3. Also, don't forget about our website. We'll be updating you on the races and everything going on with vote counting tonight. 
Details again starting on News Channel 3, special edition at 9 o'clock tonight, carrying right on through News Channel 3 at 10 as we carry in the information from the polling places and keep you updated as to what's going on as we exercise our democratic rights by voting here in the Mid-South area. So please, again, get out and cast your ballot for later on today. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onick on Election Day 2018. Stay tuned for much more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the day on air and online. Fine.